What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm going to be doing an update on MMTLP and FINRA saga. And in today's video I will show you the latest, uh, the latest news uh, directly related to our story. And I have to say that uh, we have plenty of them. And as usual, before we dive deep into all of that, please uh, hit the like button for YouTube algorithm drop me a line in the comment section and share this video with your friends and family. On top of that, uh, please subscribe to my channel if you think that my videos uh, are valuable for the community. And uh, definitely, this is the only way how we can unite and eventually this is the only way how we can win this battle. So, let's start with the news itself. Just yesterday, Mark Arbesil wrote another tweet that is quite promising and interesting for the community. And he wrote, MMTLP, New York Petition Update. The Supreme Court uh, has set oral argument uh, for this matter on June 13th, uh, 2023 at 2.30 p.m. The hearing will be done virtually through the court's video case management system. I am not sure if uh, this matter can be viewed or listened uh, to by the general public, but I will find out. Please do not uh, read into this as some sort of uh, nefarious plot to exclude anyone or something sinister is happening behind the scenes. I can assure you that we are talking uh, to FINRA in hopes of resolving this before the hearing. Courts offer this uh, convenience to Kansai as a matter of uh, courtesy, especially when Kansai is out of state, such as in this case. No worries, nothing changes. And uh, let me show you, let me pay your attention on this sentence. I can assure you that we are talking to FINRA in hopes of resolving this before hearing. And this is very important because uh, the deadline for the entire petition uh, uh, resolution date or the date uh, when we will know the uh, reason why they cannot resolve it uh, is uh, June 13th. And uh, if uh, Mark or Basil uh, will uh, solve this problem before hearings, definitely. Uh, in this case, uh, we have less than two weeks until we'll see some major results uh, related to MMTLP story. And this is very important. On top of that, let me show you that all of uh, other deadlines are still on the table. J.R. Ewing wrote, uh, so brief from uh, FINRA still due this Friday as of now. And Mark R. Bessel uh, confirmed that uh, this information is correct. And uh, definitely, let me show you another quite interesting uh, uh, tweet. Uh, we all know that uh, previously the meeting that uh, was set uh, on last Friday was postponed uh, to the middle of uh, this week. And uh, we can see this uh, tweet made from Liz from uh, Wisconsin. And she wrote, today's meeting with FINRA has been uh, rescheduled to meet next week due to short staffing of holiday weekend. We co just confirmed uh, with my con congressman's office. And uh, this tweet was made on May 26th, and right now we have uh, we don't have basically any information. And Anna answered, Congress said it's postponed until this week, didn't give a day or time, just said to be determined. So, we don't know the exact date of uh, this uh, FINRA slash uh, Congress meeting, and uh, FINRA also didn't mention it uh, on uh, its uh, Twitter account. And definitely we have to take a closer look on this uh, potential date, because it might be extremely important uh, to be on this meeting and to be presented on this meeting by one of uh, our members. And let me go further. Drew Diligence uh, wrote this tweet uh, just yesterday, and John Burda retweeted it on his Twitter account, and Drew wrote, MMTLP, all right, people, uh, you want to get paid? I know I do, and I want uh, all to get paid too. So this is what I'm doing this week. I'm calling FINRA, I'm calling Congress, I'm sending emails to staffers that I have emailed in the past. I'm asking that FINRA work with NBH uh, to work out uh, a resolution that involves a two-day temporary position close only trading period. Force all counterfeits uh, to close and allow next breach to be non-trading when it's over. I've written scripts, uh, here they are. And here is the script uh, for FINRA with the link script for Committee of Financial on Financial Services and uh, email template for Congress. And uh, he mentioned this. Please note that the script for FINRA doesn't even mention MMTLP anywhere. That's because as soon as they hear that, they will transfer our collective uh, assets to the Ombudsman. 
So I'm uh, mentioning next bridge, not MTLP. And this is a quite controversial part uh, because uh, I don't think uh, that FINRA has a lot of uh, dumb people that don't know what uh, is uh, this all about. And definitely next bridge uh, is uh, directly related to MMTLP saga. And that is why this statement is quite controversial. But it is what it is. Uh, it is just uh, his uh, thoughts uh, about it. And uh, this is uh, another way how we can solve the problem. So let me go to further. We need uh, action that actually has uh, an end game. This is the end game and the end uh, is within reach. You want this to be over? Let's make uh, this push together. Please be kind, yes, even to FINRA. Be courteous and uh, be relentless every day. Let's get into the end zone and uh, show for this ball down their throats uh, when we get there. Enough is enough. And uh, I have to say that, let me quote you uh, Mark Arbessel tweet, uh, probably related to this as well. And uh, let me quote this for you. Thank, uh, thanks for that. And let me show you that originally he answered on this uh, tweet uh, made uh, by Canada Yo. And uh, it says, Mark, we need you more than ever. Please don't stop until you get us paid. I will personally donate uh, to you 5 to 10 percent of whatever comes from this and uh, I'm sure many others will too. I love you, man. And Mark Orbesil wrote, thanks for that, uh, but I can't commit to anything else other than what uh, we have been hired to do to get the data we requested. Just remember, there are so many different viewpoints on how to resolve this. It's actually mind-boggling. This is why I hope everyone gets uh, what they hope for from this. It may be time for someone else to step in, whether I'm or not successful, like uh, Wes Christian. Then maybe I can go help uh, Alan Hensley or Rosa Towell or someone else uh, that could uh, use the help. Not really sure, but we will see where this roller coaster goes. And uh, definitely, uh, I think he's 100% uh, uh, right, because uh, we have uh, to use any potential uh, chances to solve uh, this uh, problem. And this is why due diligence uh, proposal also makes sense. And uh, that is why if you think that uh, this uh, might help us, uh, just join his uh, proposal and help him to do it. So let me go further. Uh, definitely, we have different opinions, as I already said, and related to two days of uh, temporary closed position only trading days, uh, Richard Hoffman uh, said this. Concerns I have heard expressed are that it would be difficult to completely block the short positions uh, from escaping if uh, next breach traded. So, we don't know how it might uh, happen and uh, how all the shorts might be closed without uh, any other positions uh, to open. And uh, that is why I think uh, it is uh, less likely than from the technical standpoint we might uh, have these uh, two days of trading of next bridge hydrocarbons without harming the company itself because of uh, its uh, public trades. And that is why I think uh, it might be very tricky part uh, to make uh, this happen. So, and let me show you why we have uh, to unite and why we have to fight together no matter what our opinions are. Let me quote you the Busy Brands uh, tweet. He wrote, There is an old saying that uh, you are three people away from your goal. You know someone who knows someone who knows someone who can help make it happen. With 65,000 shareholders, we should be able to achieve our goal. Does someone know someone who knows someone influential or powerful enough for, or who has the right connections who can move the needle? And this is a very important statement because definitely we can solve uh, this problem by ourselves because we are very strong and we have uh, more than 65,000 people in our community. And uh, let me show you some results that we already achieved. Uh, let me pay your attention on Hollywood Henry's uh, recent tweet. He published it uh, 14 hours ago and he wrote, Update on Phase S1 GLP physical packet campaign. All Phase 1 packets have been sent. Uh, this is the percentage of packets delivered arrived uh, for each of the shipments in time for meeting. And uh, here is uh, the deliveries uh, from wave 1 of 73%, wave 2 63%, wave 3 11% and wave 4 
So definitely this also might help us to solve this problem. And I have to uh, tell you one more time that we have to unite in order to win this battle. And definitely we should work together and uh, we should uh, share our thoughts on it. And we have to help uh, our headliners uh, like uh, Rosa Tavel, like uh, Alan Hensley, like Richard Hoffman and uh, definitely Mark Arbessel. And uh, in my opinion, we will see some resolutions uh, in upcoming weeks. So, and uh, that's all information that I want to provide you. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye. I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack.